So uh, tonight I'm going to do a video and I'm going to add some buttons to control platen in, platen out, and single pass, which is an on off switch. So I've got my single double switch, which is actually a, an either or switch, and then I've got some nice little button switches and I've got a nice place for them to mount up here. So what I want to do is I want to um, find a really teensy tiny screwdriver and start putting these things together. And I've got a roll of wire courtesy of eBay, and then I've got a place to put them. So first things first, I want to disconnect the interface to the Arduino and the printer, and I want to unplug the printer and give it some time to power it. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this knot that they tied in here to keep this wire in one place. This was one of these things where it was just way cheaper to buy a big spool of this wire than it was to buy just a couple feet. And I wanted twisted wire because it's just easy to live with. Yeah, I think I'm about to get irritated and just undo a screw or two. So I'm going to undo this screw here. And there's one on the inside that you guys won't be able to see that holds down my ink spit tray. Which is fine, because the ink spit tray is uh, needs a little refurbishment. And then I have an easier way to route these wires. Because this is where I think they should be routed. That's where I want them. So I'm going to lengthen these because they don't want to stay under here and this will let me do This is really difficult. But these do not need to be very long at all. So these are going to be real short. And I've just been ditching it in there. But what I need to do is, this needs to be secured up here. Nope, oh, can't do it. But I might be able to sneak a second one in this one. Yep, yeah, there we go. I don't want this wire set hanging down. There we go. And I don't want it loose where it can get in the way. So I'm just going to clean that up like this. And uh, these wire ties are really affordable. They're 99 cents a bag at Harbor Freight. Alright, so I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. You got to be careful not to cut any of your wires. So at this point, we can fire things back up. So I'm going to plug my USB back in. And I'm going to plug in, I shouldn't need the Arduino board, but I am going to plug power in. Uh, 
place else for that. So we'll turn that on. Oh, it's mad about something, so we must have brushed or disturbed this big plastic carrier, and that's gonna make it smaller. Yeah, it doesn't need to be on there. But this will now make it where it can tuck up under here and stay out of my way. Before it was too heavy, may still be a problem. So there's a stupid label that's in my way. Let's use a fresh piece of adhesive. That's nice and out of the way. Okay, so I'm getting a 71 power error. And the problem is that my wires have gotten caught up in here. And so I have something jammed in here that shouldn't be in here. Oh, I have several somethings that aren't supposed to be there. So what I need to do is work this back in and then fix these little black wires so that never happens again. I guess it'll come on better once it's plugged in. <laughs> 